So what you see before you are all the items that we're going to need to seam seal this tent. Uh, in the bottom left over there you see the uh, actual silicone itself. The sealant that was uh, the sealant that we're going to be using today is actually a uh, seam grip brand. It was provided by Six Moon Designs, so thank you very much for uh, for that Six Moon Designs. We're going to um, use that seam sealer and actually what we're going to do is we're going to dilute that seam sealer. And that's exactly what the paint thinner is for. Now normally what you would use is uh, you would use mineral spirits, but I can't seem to get a hold of mineral spirits in uh, my area. I live in the Los Angeles County area and for some reason I can't seem to find it, but paint thinner is essentially mineral, mineral spirits. It's just not as pure as mineral spirits. So it's gonna probably evaporate a little bit quicker than mineral spirits would have, but it's basically gonna do the same exact thing. Along with that, we have a container where we're gonna keep our seam sealer. I've got a uh, uh, stir stick that I'm going to use to stir the steam sealer and the paint thinner together and then we got a couple of foam brushes that we're going to use to actually apply the seam sealer and um, we're also going to need some paper towels to just kind of wipe down any excess. Alright so let's get to seam seal in this tent. Now the first thing that you want to do whenever you do any sort of tent seam sealing is you want to go ahead and set up the tent and leave it out for a little bit. This is a little bit more important when it comes to silicon, uh, siliconized nylon but even with siliconized polyester, which this tent is, it's always good to go ahead and leave it out and just let kind of the material relax so that you'll be able to access the seams as easy as possible. So this thing's been sitting out here for at least a half an hour, and usually that's about enough. One other thing too that I would suggest doing uh, is find a shady spot. Um, it seems like when you're out in the sun, uh, things can start to dry much quicker than you expect, and it's always good to find a, uh, a shady spot to seam seal any tent in. Now it is a rather warm day, even though it's winter, but yeah, if you can find a warm day and a shady spot, that's probably gonna be the best conditions for seam sealing any tent. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and start mixing up our seam sealer. Typically what you wanna do is you wanna do um, equal parts seam sealer and um, whatever agent you're gonna use to dilute the seam sealer. Looks like this doesn't come with this thing punched open, so we'll go ahead and punch that open. Now this is kind of interesting because the seam sealer that I have in here, this uh, seam grip stuff, this uh, comes out a lot, um, a lot more thin than what I'm used to as far as seam sealer. But uh, I'm only going to add a little bit of paint thinner to get it to mix to the proper consistency for uh, for painting on. Let's go ahead and set that down. Use our stir stick to stir this up and see if we can get the right consistency here. And uh, typically the consistency that people say that you want to shoot for is the consistency of warm, uh, like as if you were to heat up honey. Okay, so here we are. This is pretty much a consistency that you're looking for right there. So it kind of kind of drips off of the, uh, the stir stick. That's about the consistency that you're looking for. What you always want to do before you start is you want to look around and make sure that you have all the lines um, that you know you're going to have to seam seal. The good thing is that I've already seam sealed a tent like this, so I kind of already know the lines I'm going to follow. But essentially what you do is you just uh, tug on the material, you know, so you can access the seam and then just basically paint the seam sealer on uh, using, the, uh, using the, the foam brush.
to do is use a paper towel to wipe off any excess. Continue on down the line. Now one other thing that you want to make sure that you do whenever you're you get to a point like uh, like we have right right over the right over there is you want to make sure that you get the front you want to get the front and the back of that. Uh, to make sure that you get seam sealer underneath the seams too, not just on top of those seams of that little toggle. And one other thing too, whenever you're pressing the, uh, whenever you're using the paper towel to wipe up the excess seam sealer, you're also kind of forcing it into the seams too, so you want to make sure that you're doing that uh, as well. I am done seam sealing the uh, Skyscape Tracker. I went ahead and I hit all the seams through here in the front. Went up towards the top on both sides back down obviously and then over here on the door went ahead hit the door from top to bottom right there and then the ever important top I went ahead and I uh, um, I went ahead and I put a little bit more on top just to make sure I mean obviously that's going to be the, the place that the rain hits the uh, first, then went down this big seam over here. Really try to be careful on this one because this one kind of folds over a little bit more than the rest. And then again around over here on this side, all the way down over there. Yep, and that was basically it. Not too terribly difficult. Um, the seam grip, uh, seam sealant seemed to work just fine. Um, it seemed like the paint thinner really thinned it out, but it, it definitely uh, evaporated quickly. I don't think it evaporates as quickly as a white gas. I think that's probably the one that evaporates the quickest. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and leave this out here for a few hours. Just based off of the time, we may end up leaving it here all night. And we'll go ahead and give it a rain test tomorrow. And by rain test, I'm going to fire up the hose and we're going to... We're gonna go ahead and see how good our seam sealing job was, but I think it's gonna need a few hours to sit out here, and by the time it actually technically dries, uh, it'll be nighttime. And um, yeah, I mean, I could do the rain test then, but then, you know, we won't be able to really see anything. So we'll have to do it uh, probably tomorrow morning. All right, here we are, it's the next day. I went ahead and pretty much left this thing out here for almost a full 24 hours, but uh, the job is complete. Feels feels a little bit tacky, but all in all, it's completely dry. One thing that's interesting too with the Gear Aid uh, seam sealer, it looks like it dries pretty uh, pretty shiny. Now I have seen that in previous uh, seam sealing jobs I've done, and that shininess kind of knocks down after you take it out on the trail uh, a few times just from dust use being out in the sun etc but uh yeah pretty much sat out here for a good 24 hours so we'll go ahead and bring on the hose and uh and see if we uh see if we did a good thing here and yeah we got a little bit of stuff on there a little sloppy there but that will start to disappear after a while too so all right let's break out the hose and see what we got Alrighty, that should give us all the information that we need. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this, uh, open up this tent and uh, see if we got any water on the inside.
Okay, looks like the inside is completely bone dry. That is precisely what I was hoping for. So it looks like we have another successful seam sealing job. The only place that I'm kind of wondering what on earth what on earth happened is is right over here. And there's some we got some drips. Now the fact that it's coming from up here, like there's nothing up above it, didn't look like it dripped all the way down. I think it's probably just from when I opened the door. Okay, I think I found the culprit. It's from the inside part of the door right over here. See, there's drops everywhere. I think when I opened it up, it see it kind of, kind of flings, kind of flinged onto the tent. So there you go. See, I was able to get some inside there. So I just have to be careful when I open the tent that I don't, I don't tap this too hard. Not that a few drops like that are going to make a difference, but that certainly explains why why that was there. Because yeah, I was kind of wondering what the heck was going on over there. But um, yeah, all in all, good seam sealing job. We'll go ahead and let this thing dry and go ahead and pack it up and get it ready for adventuring.